Tennis minigame, of course, shows you in the bottom right that this is, of course, tennis, and you can move and aim with the left analog stick, and also quit, change camera, and serve. And Michael is playing against Jordan. Uh, at this point, I do not think we know who Jordan is, and it's 0-0, zero, zero, so this all looks very cool. And, bike and the biking looks awesome, too. You've got a stamina bar, position in the race, and also the time. Let's note this is a nine-minute race, so much like real-life racing, uh, if you ever follow cycling, those races can go on for hours upon hours, you know, cross-country marathons. So, <clears throat> obviously, you know, this might not be an hour-long race, but I like that it is longer, you know? It's not just a 30-second race down the hill. You've got checkpoints on the minimap. Looks awesome. It's fun and responsive. First look at skydiving, base jumping, whatever you want to call it, looks awesome. We can tell he's falling fast, and as he pulls the parachute, beautiful rainbow color, and it just comes out nice and quickly and smoothly, However, and he's uh, parachuting down to the land below, off the side of the mountain. All of this leisure, looks awesome. I mean, he's just coming in over the town, and uh, it, it really just looks incredible. Take care of business. For all their so here you can see a few more of the vehicles, well at least each character's vehicle of choice. Obviously Trevor would have driven the truck here, Michael's driving the, uh, I believe what is modeled after maybe a BMW, maybe an Audi, and I'm assuming then that Franklin drove the bike, it is also in green, his gang's color. Engines. These men and they're meeting here at a, uh, a random location here to discuss their heists. Industrial area, right? So I'm thinking vehicles. So, uh, they have a, a garbage truck and also a bank truck. So, first thing, I'm gonna stop it here and tell you guys, first time I watched this when he rammed the truck, uh, I was a little disappointed because there wasn't much damage done to the bank car, the bank vehicle, whatever. But then, uh, I realized it is armored. You know, after all, it's an armored vehicle, so, I mean, it makes sense that not much damage is done here. Now, as you can see right there, it's not even dented. So the first time I watched that, I'm like, what the hell? That, that should at least be dented. But when you consider that those vehicles are reinforced with probably inch-thick steel or two-inch thick, you know, this, this is armored, so it's not a big deal. To survive. Then as it flips over here, you can see it is ever so slightly damaged, I think. Just a small dent. So, slides right through the, uh, the wall. I like it. Awesome crumbling effects there. Good, good destruction. Audacious heist. Gentlemen. Now this guy we have not seen before. He appears to be new. Um, one thing I noticed is to the right it says to do. There's a to do list there. And uh, Scowl Town. That is something. Uh, I, I believe it says Scowl or Ska. I I don't know. Not gonna concentrate too much on that. But below test security, time cop response, pick crew, get military gear. As you can see on their list here, the final thing to do is, of course, to get the military gear. They have done everything else on the list. And you've got a map behind there, uh, pointing out all the points of interest, all the things that are going to matter to them. They've got all their notes out. Plans for your attention. And here they are clearly robbing the jewel store. And um, let's see here. The player sets these up themselves. So, uh, decide approach, pick crew, got carbine rifles, so there's, I'm, I imagine these checklists are going to play a, uh, a role in the stories, you know, you're going to, they'll come up on the screen and I think that you'll check them off as you do them. Um, how they execute them. And here you can see the hired work. You have these people that, uh, you can hire this guy as a driver, one guy as a gunman, and that girl as a hacker, and they have their, uh, their percent of the pay that they want, 14, 14, and 15 percent, and then also how quickly you can access them, um, or I'm sorry, on the girl anyway, access speed, that's probably her hacking ability, um, but just their, their skill in each of their areas of expertise is very cool. With whom? There's two ways I see of doing this. Now the guy says there are two ways I see of doing this. We go in smart. We go in smart. And Smart is clearly going in stealthily, they gas the place. Go in loud and dumb. And there's loud and dumb, where they break in like this. So I'm, I'm guessing that this is almost like a role-playing aspect to the game, where you choose how you want to do it. Because Rockstar said we can do that, so they're asking, you know, do you want to barge in like a maniac, or do you want to just shoot up the place? So this is showing the two outcomes of the two different choices. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is your moment! Please don't make me ruin all the great work your plastic surgeons have been doing. <laughs> That's a great line from Trevor there. Please don't make me ruin all the work your plastic surgeons have been doing. <laughs> Is divided. A lot of money there. Money now, tattoos. Tattoo shop. 
here we can see that there are 16 total available tattoos. Um, that's that's a pretty fair amount. I'm cool with that. Uh, maybe different shops will have different tattoos, so there might be more than 16. But even if there are only a total of 16 in the game, you know, I'm totally cool with that. Uh, and you've got the price of each there. Anything from sensible. And of course, uh, in the bottom right there, you can see that you can zoom in at any point, get a close up of the tattoo, move the camera in and out. Awesome. Like tattoos and fast cars. And more driving here. Uh, once again, uh, this this driving looks great because this time it is not wet. The roads are completely dry, and you can see uh, this red car is going to go out to the left of the blue one and swerve right back in, or left of the truck anyway. And look at that. That is on a dime. The driving in this looks incredible. In Grand Theft Auto 4, if you would have tried to do that, you would have just hit that oncoming traffic like nine times. It, it would have been impossible to pull off. So that looks great. Now this part, awesome. You can invest in stocks. Now clearly this interface is modeled after a Mac. Uh, if any of you guys use Macs here, you know that this bar is modeled after that and not a PC. Um, I also like Bossack rather than uh, Dow and um, you know the normal actual things, the stock names. Bossack clearly a play on words meant to be Ballsack, so that's funny. Dealing in life's up and down, so nice play on words there. And you can invest in stocks. That is awesome. Another way to make money. And you can invest in ammunition. You know the the store that we've been going to since the days way back in Grand Theft Auto. You can finally invest in them and look at their stocks. So very cool. Stocks and, Los and also buying property. This is a property at Bay City Avenue, apartment 45, for $250,000. Um, obviously, that's pretty expensive, but I don't think it should take us too long to get that kind of money with the bank heists and everything. And what's cool is you can view the property um, by getting directions on your GPS. So that is very cool. Toast real estate. Get directions, purchase, return to map. Awesome. And now this, the final scene of the trailer, is going to show us the first glimpse at Grand Theft Auto Online. This made me pretty much cream in my pants. You can see that uh, each person has a bar and looks uh, looks like that might be a health bar or maybe a mix of two different things. Maybe the gray is one area, the other side is another. Who knows? That could be connection. That could be health. That could be anything. This could be a mini game. So it, it's hard to say what that is exactly. And uh, progressing onward here, There's Grand Theft Auto this, Online. this is just an epic shot. Looking over over the window to the city below with all the action here and look at this intersection right here all the traffic's just kind of kind of come together beautiful and they say that we will show you this properly soon and that jet flies by uh, that looks to be the Hydra that is awesome I Lost for words, guys. This was a an incredible trailer. The way they said that they'll show us the multiplayer properly suggests that there might also be another uh, trailer for that as well. So we might see some more gameplay footage before it actually comes out. But um, oh, and a little note here at the end: this video was captured entirely from in-game footage. So that is awesome, guys. That that is really what we came here to see. Awesome. <laughs> Wow. So guys, as always, please uh, give me your, um, your, your thoughts in the comments below. What did you think of it? Were you happy? Were you disappointed? Personally, I would have liked to see a little bit more driving, a little bit more flying, and just, you know, behind the back actual footage. It, it seems like a lot of those were creative angles, which is great and all because it is in-game footage, but I'd like to see what we're going to see. But it'll also be a surprise, so that's good. So uh, guys, Thanks, uh, thanks for watching. Tell me what you think in the comments below, and stay tuned for a lot more in-depth analysis along the way. So I will see you guys next time.